Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm back with another video. Um, I don't know if this will be a Tuesday or a Wednesday video, but I want to touch base on this because I think there's like three different emails about uh, something that's posted on Macari. So without further ado, let me pull up the Macari here on the screen for everybody to see. All right, there you go. So it took me a minute to find it. It is on there. Um, it's labeled as a Patrick Mahomes Prism sticker. And if you look at the description, it says 2017 Prism Silver Patrick Mahomes Rookie Sticker. So here's the catch to it. Is it a scam? It's really in a dark gray area. Depends on how you're going to view it. Um, is it wrong? Yes, because it's using Panini. If you look, if my screen will show this with where I'm going. Probably not. But um, if you look above the word prism, you can see Panini's name on it. He's not advertising that it's made by Panini. But the Panini thing is still on there. You're kind of, it, it does not even come close to looking like the real prism. Some people are asking because they're new to the hobby, did Panini make these prism silver rookie stickers? The answer is no. This was manufactured by somebody out there wanting $50 a pop for this thing. You cannot grade it. Um, if you recall back, I want to say it was in the early 90s when Jordan went to baseball, and even when Bo Jackson was doing dual sports around 91 ish when they were doing the football baseball stuff, all these people made all these off brand cards from it not being licensed and everything. It kind of goes into that area there. I, for one, would not buy this at all. Um, but you didn't make this, like I said, somebody went out and manufactured these things. Is it a scam? Technically, probably not. To me, it's very misleading because when you look at this, you're thinking it's a Panini Prism sticker, like how Tops does stickers and stuff like that. People are thinking that so. Always be very careful on the what you buy and what you're going to get. If you're unsure and you think it's a great deal, probably not going to be working out in your favor, to be honest. Um, I I just am not a fan of this. And I'll show you some of the other pictures. Oh, wrong screen, sorry. That are on here. Oh, I can go right here. Uh, if you look at it, it's very faded. It looks like somebody did a little bit of the drawings on to it and stuff. Go back to here. So, if you look, see where my little thing is. It does say Panini up here. I, I don't know. Somebody get in trouble for it. My guess is you probably could if they found out who did it, stuff like that. If Panini really wants to go after somebody, I, I, I don't know to answer the questions I've been getting. But to me, it, it's nothing. It's real. That's going to be valuable. It's. Something that somebody made up out there to make a quick buck, you know. I mean, you can get stickers made probably in bulk for very cheap, and he's just trying to capitalize on it, to be honest. Um, that's. Let me show you guys one more thing. I did have somebody send me a back picture of it. So this is what the back is. It's blank. So, again, you be your own judge on... Oops. Own judge, you come on. Here we go. You're whoops, holy cow, hit too many buttons there. You be your own judge on this if it's a scam or not. Let me know in the comments what you think offhand. I mean, everybody's weighing differently, probably onto this. I mean, technically, very, very, very misleading. He doesn't use the word panini in it, he's using other keywords to promote traffic or she. I'm not too sure who it is. I'm not going to show a name while you guys can go on Macari and look. I personally would not put $50 in this if I'm a Mahomes collector. I, I would rather go out and buy something else, to be honest. So hopefully I answered some questions I had uh, on to this. Um, really not a fan of somebody doing this, to be honest, in my own opinion. But like I said, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is it a scam? What do you guys think? I mean, like I said, probably gonna get, they'll probably get away with it. I think it's very misleading. I think it's wrong in many different aspects of trying to make quick buck. But uh, like I said, let me know. 
This is probably one of the shorter videos of the week. I do appreciate everybody's support. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up. Feel free to leave the comments. I'll reply to them as quick as I can on to. I've been getting a lot more uh, emails, comments, uh, messages on stuff. So it's taking me a little bit more time to respond back to everybody. But I'll do my best to get back to everybody and uh, put something up with questions and stuff like that. Appreciate it, everybody. Take care. Have a good week.